I want to teach you a really simple but useful concept, a tool for you to use as you deal with emotions that come up in your Mormon mixed faith marriage. So I'm Brooke Booth. I'm a life coach who helps Mormons navigate their mixed faith marriages after a faith transition. And I have found in my own mixed faith marriage, lots of emotions come up. I feel upset, misunderstood, sad, confused, frustrated, unappreciated, wrong, judged, doubt, on and on and on and on. What happens when we're flooded with emotions is something happens in our brain and you're familiar with this, right? It's the fight or flight response is what happens when we're flooded with emotions. And our brain changes. So the fight and flight response happens, our prefrontal cortex goes offline, we're now fueled with you know, adrenaline and all sorts of other fancy chemicals and things going on. And the part that makes those good decisions, the strategic, the executive functioning, it's off. So I'm, it's really helpful to know this is what's happening. First off, there's nothing wrong with feeling emotions. They're normal, but it's helpful to recognize when we're flooded with them so we know like, this isn't the best time to make decisions. This isn't the best time to have difficult conversations. We're going to want to pause, process those emotions so the prefrontal can turn back on. And now this is the concept I'm going to teach you that's going to help you do this in a way, maybe in an easier way than you've done before. This is also a great thing to teach to kids. So I heard this concept. I want to give credit, but I don't really know who this originated from. I heard it from another coach who heard it from another coach coach who's out there who taught this originally you're brilliant thank you for sharing this with the world and the idea is that of the barking dog and the wise owl so think about the barking dog as the amygdala the fight and flight response and the wise owl is the prefrontal cortex this executive function okay so what happens is so let's say you're in a mixed faith marriage and it's your kid needs to get baptized wants to get baptized, spouse wants them to get baptized. However the situation is, kid is turning eight. And something is said or done and poof, emotions there. The amygdala is now in charge. The dog starts barking just as it should. Nothing's gone wrong here. It's trying to protect you just like a little guard dog. Bark, 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 bark. It's trying to protect you. And then the wise owl in the tree above the dog flies away. Like I said, this is helpful for kids, but helpful for adults too. And that means this is not a great time to have a really you know, in-depth solution-oriented conversation with our spouse about the baptism or to talk to our kid or to call our in-laws and schedule stuff. Not a good time. We need to honor what's going on in the body in this natural process. We need to process the emotions. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's rejection. Maybe it's um, shame. Any number of things can come up. We need to process the emotions so that the dog, the barking dog, quiets down again. And there's a whole emotional processing technique that I, I teach to my clients to help you do this. And then guess what? The owl flies back. The prefrontal cortex turns back on. Now, sometimes you can do this process in the course of a conversation. Sometimes though, you need to take a break and really take some time to process the emotions so that the owl can return. I love this visual because it helps me know you know, is my dog still barking or has my wise owl returned? Can I pursue a solution here or do I need to process my emotions more? So personally, I like to make my decisions when that owl is there and I like to choose them very carefully and deliberately. I like to make decisions from love, from courage, from clarity, and not from anger and panic and fear. And when my dog is barking, I know anger and panic and fear are going to be making the decisions. So next time you feel your emotions sort of take over, that's okay. Allow them, allow them to process through and pass through. Let the dog bark. That's what dogs do. It's there to protect you. You don't need to yell at the dog. You don't need to rush the dog through its process. Just let it do what it does. And then it'll calm down as you process through. When the wise owl comes back, 
find your solution. So let's take it back to the baptism. Maybe you're engulfed in fear or, you know, worry about something. Not the best time to discuss the baptism. But after you process through that and then the wise owl comes back and maybe you need a coach to do some of that. Then you can go to your spouse, talk about options, talk about approaches. Then you can talk to your kid, you know, about the baptism. Then you can reach out to the in-laws, make the invites, things like that. This is a very great tool to use when you've got decisions to make, but there's a lot of emotions around those decisions. You have things you need to move forward, but there's a lot of emotions around those things. You're going to want to be very like, aware of what's going on so that you're not reacting from an emotional place, but really processing and responding in a very thoughtful, helpful way. Because these emotions are going to happen, but you don't need to make the decisions and the important decisions in your marriage and in your family when fear is what's primary. You can process through that, let another emotion come back into play and then make those decisions from, like I said, clarity or courage or love instead. This is a tool that can help you do that. All right, if you found this helpful, I talk a lot about this type of work in my upcoming group. It is start team a week from yesterday, Wednesday, June 8th, very, very, very soon. If you want to be part of this group, you should. It's fantastic. I teach you the fundamental skills that you need to have a great mixed faith marriage. And what you can do is you can reach out to me and we'll get you on a call and get you all the information you need to join that group. Or you can go directly to my webpage, brookeboothcoaching.com and click work with me and you can find out all the information on how to join the group and join it there if that's how you prefer. Either way is perfect. All right, wishing you the best.